What is good, YouTube? Quinn Way basketball analysis coming to y'all with a quick video. We're gonna talk about the Los Angeles Lakers and man, have they looked Teddy Blay the last two months? And I think it is a legitimate concern the way they have been playing. Um, and a lot of guys have underachieved, even with LeBron. Now, I understand that LeBron is one of the greatest players in the league and in the history of the game. I understand that this team is built because of LeBron and AD greatness and what they can do when they're both on the court, especially on both ends of the court when they're locked in. But the problem with this Lakers team isn't necessarily LeBron and AD. Outside of them being healthy, it kind of makes you question the supporting cast. And it's kind of crazy because you come into this year, you have a lot of excitement for the Lakers because they ended up winning the title and they had upgraded their entire team coming into the season, basically. And they had one of the best starts um, this year. And obviously, AD going down really killed the Lakers because that made them come back down to earth record-wise. And LeBron going down pretty much hurts them trying to get home court advantage. Ultimately, does it really matter if you have LeBron and AD healthy? You can beat anybody. The problem is, is LeBron and AD going to be playing their best basketball? LeBron has been out for a while, and we haven't really heard anything good about him coming back or feeling 100%. We know how dominant these guys are when they're at the top of their game. And they are in the Western Conference. There's a lot of teams that have been playing real well throughout the entire season on both ends of the court. And they're hungry to beat and play the Lakers. And even though they're the defending champs, a lot of these teams aren't scared of them. They're not going to back down from them. They're going to come at them. And the Lakers are going to have to go out there and respond by showing that they're the best team in the West again. I predicted the Lakers to finish number one in the Western Conference, and clearly that's not going to happen now. But I'm still concerned because I wonder, can LeBron James and AD at 85% or less, is that enough to win three rounds in the championship? You put this team together to win multiple championships. You come into this season with dreams and, and knowing that you have probably the strongest chance of repeating as champions, and to me, it just doesn't look like that. I liked it, the Andre Drummond pickup, because you get a starting level center for basically a roster spot. And he has played better than Marcus Hall has all season. And still having Marcus Hall gives them versatility defensively against certain bigs like Joel Embiid. But we still haven't seen how LeBron, AD, and LeBron in them fit with Andre Drummond because they haven't played enough together, if any. They haven't played at all together, and that's a chemistry problem. We know how good that they are talent-wise, but it's still got to mesh, and it still got to fit, and it still has to work. And without having really no time to work it out, play, or even get that thing figured out, and on top of that, LeBron and AD is not going to be 100% at their best, it kind of wonders that this is an open West, and a lot of people have been liking the Suns, a lot of people been liking the Clippers because they've been playing great basketball since the All-Star break. And a lot of those teams have been playing pretty good the entire year. And the Lakers have really had an identity issue. They, they don't really know where to get the offense from. They don't really know what to do individually. Some of the guys we thought was great, they haven't really played consistently throughout the season, including now. And it really does depend on the greatness of LeBron. Can he come back and just wheel them through the West? And even if they get through the West, will LeBron playing on a bad leg, will that be enough to win them the championship? And if not, this season has been a wash. Not only has they finished way worse than any of us would have ever thought, they have a legitimate chance of not winning. I look at the Lakers as a, as a situation where I should be concerned if I'm a Laker fan. And I, and I actually should be worried about – our chances at winning the title, especially become especially coming into the season and seeing how this team was put together and seeing how they was playing, they did look like they were just going to walk in the finals and just beat anybody that was there. And now they have shown more vulnerability. Plus, teams have made more moves and teams have made more adjustments since the season has continued to go. 
and the Lakers have took a huge steps back as the season has got to this point from the beginning of the season. And I am kind of concerned for th- this team. I am kind of concerned about the Lakers. I know people say, well, they're the fifth seed. That's the fifth seed that you don't want to play. And that's out of respect for the Lakers. But what type of Lakers team is we going to get? Is we going to get this sloppy, unorganized Lakers team? Will they be able to be an elite defensive team again? Or will they just be a wild card that we don't really know what to expect from them, but we're going to give them the credit because they deserve it. But at the same time, this team hasn't played a whole season together. This team hasn't been able to play a full run together. And that's something that the Clippers had problems with last year. We're trying to throw it all together and just rush and get the title. And it fell apart very quickly, not even getting to a conference finals. And the Lakers, even though they probably are the most talented team in the Western Conference, chemistry does matter when other teams know how to pick you apart. They know how to attack you and they already know how to play together. And those things go against a team like the Lakers that don't have those type of qualities and fundamentals built as a team and they're going to basically have to rush and just figure everything out on the fly while still trying to beat some of the best teams in the entire NBA at their best and the Lakers won't be at theirs. So it's interesting that the Lakers find themselves in this predicament. Obviously people thought that they would fall even lower in the standings than they have, but you got to look at it. Portland hasn't been able to step up. They have faltered and failed the Mavericks have been hit or miss, even though their schedule has been better. And the F, the eighth seed in the West is not really a problem, whether it's the Warriors or the Pelicans or the Spurs. Those teams are most likely not even going to make it out of the first round anyway. So it, it is a little bit concerning. If I'm a Laker fan, I kind of wonder, you know, what we are and what we can really do if we can't get the LeBron that the, is necessary to tame this West like he did last year. You know, this isn't the Eastern Conference where he can just walk through the finals and he's older and we just don't know how his body's going to hold up. LeBron has had big injuries with the Lakers. Remember, even his first year with the Lakers, they didn't even make the playoffs because he had the injury. And we don't even know if they suffer another one, how they will be able to recover if somebody else goes down because this team hasn't really shown that individually a lot of these players haven't been able to step up and elevate their games, um, especially in the absence of LeBron and AD. And you look at this team, you think that they'd be competitive and they have um, enough guys to go out there and win, and they haven't really been able to do it. Um, even with AD, um, they have been very beatable. So I understand that you have to give LeBron his credit. This guy has been in the finals for so many years out of this decade, basically every year besides one, which was with the Lakers. And you know how great he is and what he has done in his prime of his career, which he's still in. But just like he said, playoff mode activated and they about to lock in and make it. They didn't. LeBron is human. He has been swept in the finals twice. He has been beaten in the finals in five games before. He has lost more finals than he has won um, in his entire career. So he is a man that is flawed. He is a man that has been beaten. He is a man that, you know, has failed multiple occasions and and has had meltdowns in the NBA finals when the championship um, was on the line. So this team is is destructible. This team has weaknesses, and we're starting to see it more and more throughout these last two months that if a team is really locked in and focused and engaged and they're really ready to go at them and fear is nothing that the Lakers can do and they can prepare and game plan them because it's a series, you never really know. With with teams like the Clippers, with teams like the Suns um, and others, a lot of these teams have a puncher's chance to knock out the Lakers And that's something that we didn't think would be possible once the season started. And it's something that might be reality now um, in in the present time. So we'll see what happens in the future. And we'll see how LeBron looks when he comes back. KD has missed a significant amount of time and basically looks great. Um, But we also have to see how LeBron has, you know, how he'll come back. So 
I'm just saying it, it's some it, it's some blood right now, and people starting to see that the Lakers are limping to the finish line, and teams are seeing that they're not the team that you thought that they would be. You looking at them, and you see that you can hit them right, hit them left, and knock them out. And teams gonna come at them, and it's gonna be up to the Lakers to stand their guard and fight their battle and come out victorious. And if that happens, the Lakers will be out the West. If it doesn't, you know the Lakers can be out and not even make the finals in their second year. This was a year that was looking like the Lakers was gonna repeat. Now it looks like the Lakers are one of the teams that can win a title instead of the favorites to win the title. And it sounds crazy as it was it wasn't that long ago. But now, a couple months later, the Lakers just don't look like that monster team that is going to be at the top of the NBA again. It looks like they're climbing up that mountain, and they're stumbling, and they're falling, and they might not be able to reach the top, which, you know, is reality now. Other than that, let me know what you guys think. Is I'm tripping? Is, is I'm right? Is I'm overreacting? Or everything will be fine because they have LeBron and AD. And that should be enough to get them out the West with the supporting cast that they have around them, not having to do as much work when they're hit, when they're on the court with LeBron and AD. Or is LeBron and AD vulnerable and actually beatable now because of the injuries and because of the chemistry issues and because of, you know, the hole that they have, you know, shot in. You know, this is a team that took a couple shots right now and they're trying to get back up, get back recovering, and they're going to try to go out there and live life differently. And will that be enough to get the job done? That's what we're going to have to see. And it's going to be interesting watching this team the next couple of weeks as the playoffs come closer and the playing tournament is over. Will the Lakers, you know, come out as champions? Let me know what you guys think. Quinn Wade, Basketball Analysis signing out, and I'll be back with another video tomorrow.